today in the third Christian millennium, there are more people who profess the name of Christ than there has ever been in the whole history of the world. More people following Yahweh of Israel than ever before in the history of the world. And they are in more places of the world than they have ever been in the entire history of the world. This is a great time to be a Christian because our King Jesus is actually fulfilling his mission of conquering the world. Over 90% of the pastors of the world today that are functioning as leaders of the church, over 90% of them have had less than one hour of formal training in the Bible. In North America, we need to be planting six times the number of churches that we have been planting every year just to keep up with the number of churches that are closing. And in Africa alone, by 2050, we're going to need 10 million new pastors for the new Christians that will be raised up if Holy Spirit keeps doing what he has been doing for the last 25 years. Now, can you build enough traditional seminaries in Africa to take care of that? The answer is no. We need young ministers, old ministers. We need leaders of the body of Christ who have evangelism in their blood. Well, you don't get that from a book. You get that from having done it over and over and over and over again. And the zeal for reaching the lost is, some, is one of the reasons why our churches are empty. And um, it's very difficult in our kinds of churches, yours and mine, even to hear people being ordained to be evangelists. We think that's something you do on the mission field, which is out there in the pagan lands. Well, welcome to your home. It is the pagan land where we need to be ordaining people to be evangelists. But the truth is, is that this is not the end of the game for Christians. This is not the end of the story. This is opportunity for us. And we need to turn these, what could be seen as dire and frightening times into times of opportunity. The calling for the church can't be, can it, in a situation like that to, to give up circle the wagons and, 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 wait, and wait for the coming judgment. The call goes out to arise wake up. Be assured, there will, many of them will reject you, but what's that going to cost you? Not that much. They are hungry. There are many of them out there that are hungry because this world has robbed them of everything. And we are the ones who know the truth and the light. You know, Jesus, we say, is the light of the world. The Bible says that. But Jesus turned it around, you know, in the Gospel of Matthew and said, you are the light of the world.